Hello, thank you so much for clicking my video. In today's video, this wig was sent to me from Hair Self Fly Shop. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and their direct store in the description box. The wig that I have today is Otre Synthetic Pre-Style Lace Front Wig in the style Halo Stitch Braid 26. The color that I have is 1B. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a 13 by two lace frontal parting space. So the lace is ear to ear. Behind the parting space, you get three combs, another comb and a nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit breathable material. I would say it's made on a ventilated cap. And you also get this halo braid that you can adjust the straps with to make it more tight or looser. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. It is optional to wear this wig with the halo braid or not, is up to you, but the hairline on this wig comes pre-plucked and you also get baby hairs. Density of this wig is very full, the hair comes curly, and the texture of the hair I would say is on the silky side. I don't want any baby hairs on my forehead, so I'm going to pluck out those baby hairs. It is very simple, you guys. You just take the baby hairs, you hold them, and then you take your tweezers and go in and just pluck out the baby hairs. A lot of you guys tell me you have trouble plucking out the baby hairs, but it's really simple. You do not have to wear the baby hairs. The part where I plucked the baby hairs from, I feel like it has this harsh line of demarcation. So I'm just plucking that line a little bit, not too much because you can't comb out that shedding hair. So I don't want it to look like flyaways. I don't really want too much baby hairs on the side of my hairline also, so I'm just plucking out some of those baby hairs, but I'm also leaving the baby hairs by the ear tabs so I can cover up my sideburns. When cutting off that extra lace, you just take your scissors and cut right along the hairline. Be careful and make sure you move the baby hairs back so you don't cut off your baby hairs. And don't cut into the hairline and mess up the shape of the hairline. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and applied the makeup powder underneath the lace. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and swap wigs. Okay, so right now, I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about this wig. It looks very beautiful on other ladies, but I'm not even done yet, and I'm over here judging the wig. Let me finish. All right, so I'm already going to tell you, if you have a small head, 
I mean a big head be careful because these sides right now is pulling back I think I'm gonna try to make the wig a little looser hopefully that will help I don't know all right so with this wig I am struggling right now I took the wig off and I hooked the adjustable straps a little bit more further apart hoping it would like give me some I don't know, some material to stretch over my sideburns, but my hair is just sticking out from the side no matter what I do. Even though my little sideburns are peeking out from the side a little bit, I'm still going to try my best to make it work. So I'm just going to pull the lace up as much as possible and spray one layer of that olive oil super hold spray on top of the lace. If you do wear this wig and you like stretch the material up so it can cover your sideburns, I recommend at least two to three layers. The more layers you spray, the harder hold you will have throughout the day. Right here is my end result and I hope you like it. I tried my best. Even though my sideburns are like sticking out at the side of the wig, I'm honestly not mad about that because the hair is so thick that it covers the side. Especially when you part it down the middle, it just covers both of your ears. So the density of this wig is very thick. This is a lot of hair. This is one wig I would not like run my comb through or my fingers through because it will make the hair very, very huge. Um, Isn't my kind of wig for every day? Not really. I like the shorter wig more on me, but this one is just really too thick for me, but it is still a gorgeous wig. So when I was styling the wig, I'm not sure about shedding because I didn't run my fingers through. I'm not too sure about tangling either when I was playing with the curls and separating it. Um, it wasn't sticking together or anything. It was pretty nice and poofy and smooth and curly. When I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing and there definitely shouldn't be any track showing because the hair is so damn thick. As for the size of the wig, my head circumference is 22 inches and it fits me really good. I do have some stretch cap room left in there, but definitely check out other wig reviews just in case because to be honest, I'm not sure how big head friendly it really is. I told myself, let me put on my glasses to see if I can 
pop a little style and i think i look so cute and educated you know office ready i was like okay not bad not bad i love these glasses i got them off of amazon i just feel like they go with a lot of wig styles that i always wear so if you're interested in it i'll definitely leave the link below in the description box So I'm not going to stop just there. I feel like I want to do a little half up, half down style real quick. So I'm just going to try that out with this unit. I started playing with the halo braid um, headband to see if I would want it right there. So I moved the back a little bit. I was like, that's kind of cute. Then I moved the back up and I was like, eh, I think I like it back there more. What you think? Keep it up, keep it back. I don't know. I feel like I'm popping some type of style with it back there. So I'm just going to leave it back there. At first, when I had all the hair out, looking all wild like a lion, I was like, eh, I don't think this wig is for me. It's not my kind of style, but it's still cute. But this half up, half down style is definitely my thing, especially with the halo braid back pushback just a little bit. Not bad. I think it's cute. I would say the length of this wig on me is about 18 to 20 inches. My height is 5'6". Okay, last but not least, I went ahead off camera and did a ponytail. I didn't want you guys to watch me struggle putting it in a ponytail. I got this idea from Weezy's wig review channel. She also got this wig and she totally slayed. She looks so cute. But this ponytail is really cute and I love how it covers up the nape area so you can't really see, you know, them little peekaboo real hair back there. Really cute. Nice wig, very thick. I definitely recommend if this is your kind of style. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Like, comment, and subscribe on my road to 100K. And thank you so much for all your support. And thanks again for watching. Later, you guys. Love you.